Here's to Fergus's last day as a free man. I hope Warren enjoyed his breakfast this morning. It's going to be the last one he ever has. Babe, we've got a problem, and a big one. What is it, babe? Well, we've been busy rushing around, you know, organising the venue and my dress. We've forgotten the most important thing. I've got the rings. No, 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 not the rings. What is it, then? Well, we want to go out in style. And we haven't organised our hen or our stag, so I'm going to go and organise mine now, and I suggest you do the same. Uh, you worked out what that's from, yeah? We can't talk about your mum's here. Celeste, look, it's me. Um, once you finish at your conference, meet me and your brother in the park. Something, or shall I say, someone, has come back to all us. You said you had something important to tell me. I do. Right, well, hurry up and say it, because we don't want Grace coming back and finding out I'm a detective, do we? Wouldn't really matter. Not now that she knows I'm one. Are you serious? Sadly, yes. God, you're such an... Idiot. Yeah, I know. I was actually going to use a stronger term than that. Look, I know it's a bit of a mess right now, but it's OK. I could sort it. You better had. Because if you don't and Grace tells people you're a copper, then the real reason you're here has been compromised. <sighs> what are you waiting for? Fix it. Now. So that's the device. Just like that switch, and it'll capture every vile thing Fergus has to say. How long until you two need to set off to the airport? Lunch time. It's four hours, Mum. Are you sure you can do this? I have to. I have to get the evidence that'll put that piece of filth behind bars. I just wish I'd believed you, Max. Mum, well, how's not the time for tears? OK, you need to focus on the job in hand. You're right. It's up to me to bring that man down. And believe me, I intend to. A professor. This part may be. Do you think your dad could ever forgive me for turning my back on him the way that I did? <gasps> Hope free this evening. Why? Well, because I wanted to. Sorry, I'm gonna have to talk to you later. Grace! In my experience, when my landlady's in one of those moods, you're best giving her some space. Whatever. Grace! Oh! Why can't you just leave me alone? I need to explain. We've already talked about this. Look, I know you're upset, but I'm glad you know the truth. Have you got a death wish? What I mean is, now that you know I can be myself around you. You aren't going to get the chance to be. I know you are, and I don't want to have anything to do with you, so leave me alone and save your energy for that Lisa thing. What about Lisa, too? What about her? My team got a postcard from her yesterday. What's going on? You do know I've deleted everyone off my visitors list. Someone was very insistent they saw you. Oh, I bet they were. Prisoners in situ, you can come in now. You're right on this, aren't you? Excuse me. What are you doing? Miss Hadley, rocket silence. Advertising for new cleaners. Firstly, it's rocket science. And secondly, I asked you to put a good word in for me, and you said you would. Oh, she did. And I said, no way, Jose. Why? Mm, having an employee whose ex is locked up for perving on young girls, my niece being one of them, it's hardly the image you're going for. Warren's innocent. And that's what they all say. And you're hardly a saint. Or have you forgotten that you used to be a member of a far-right extremist group? Oi, you two. Sienna, do you have any experience? Well, 
when I was younger, my father had a housekeeper. And then, well, Liberty did, you know, and then more recently, Brody took care of domestic things. But since we spoke, I've been doing my research. Little Miss Princess cleaning out her own bog now. Well, no, not yet, but I have watched Mrs. Hinch do it online. But you haven't actually done any hard graft yet. Look, I get that I'm not the most ideal candidate for this job, but things have been really hard recently. And I just thought that if I had a job, no matter what it was, it would take my mind off what a complete disaster my life is. See, we could always give her a go. Fine, go on then. Thank you. <laughs> I won't let you down. I mean, honestly, how hard can it be? Let's see, shall we? How's my favourite Ben lawyer this fine day? <laughs> L listen, listen. I'm off to Mexico in a couple of hours. Yeah, now this one Fox business is sorted. But just in case things go wrong, I'm going to send you a little movie I've made as collateral. How'd you even get in there? Comes in handy sometimes. So what do you want? I've got some news that I think you'll like. Go on. Well, Maxine no longer thinks that you had anything to do with Bluebird or the trafficking. Well, she should have believed me in the first place. Listen, it's not Maxine's fault. It was Fergus that stitched you up. And now he knows I know that. Yeah, and that's fine. All right, it'll be sorted soon. How will it? Look, I need to go before anyone realizes I'm here. Joel. Tell me. Look, I don't have any time. Look, have you still got your burner phone? Yeah. Then speak to Maxine. She'll explain everything. I'll see ya. See ya. So sorry that I didn't believe you. Oh, forget about that now. Look, I've got no time. I had a bit of a running with Fergus, so I need to keep my wits about me. Joel tells me you've got some sort of plan. Yeah. My mum's gonna make him admit all the vile things that he's done. Yeah, but it's just gonna be her word against Fergus's. No, it won't. Because when she does it, she's gonna wear a wire. What? You've got to stop her. Why? Because there are no depths that Fergus won't sing to. Believe me. I should know. How do you know? He murdered Timmy. And the reason that I know that is because he made me help bury the body. Look, you need to tell Trish to put the brakes on this. Or she's gonna end up dead too. Come on, Trish. Let's do this. Let's do what? Ah. <laughs> Let's get to Mexico! <laughs> I have packed all of my clothes into one solitary suitcase. Why'd you bother? I mean, you could leave them all here. Once the property's sell, I can buy you all the designer clothes you want. Oh, you spoil me. <laughs> you are worth it. <laughs> I'm going to book a cab right now. The sooner we're out of here in the first class lounge, the better, eh? Yeah. Just one thing to discuss before we go. What's that? You being the brains behind Bluebird. give Marnie's freezer a deep clean. Once a day, once a week, once a month. Once a day. Uh, uh. Once a week. I give the interiors a wipe down daily. I only give it a good scrub every seven days. Once a week, sorry. What would you do if you just mopped the floors and somebody came in with muddy boots and made them a lot dirtier than they were before? Well, I would make it perfectly clear to them that they are to clean up the mess that they have made immediately, and if they refused, I would make them pay. Or 
Oh, just do it again myself? I think you're doing really well. Thanks, Lena. Well, let's see how you get on in the next round before you start celebrating. Next round? This is just theory. Now it's time for the practical. Well, what's that going to entail? Man is just had the builders in, and those men's bogs are minging. So, Missy, it's time you got scrubbing. I got your message. You said there was some sort of problem? Uh, your mother received a postcard from her... Lisa, yesterday. I think someone's playing us. No, they're not. Well, clearly they are, otherwise, how do you explain it? I sent it. Why would you do that? Because it was the only thing I could think of to shut Mum up about Lisa. He would not believe how hard it was for me to get my hands on American stamps. You, you should have told us. I didn't have the time before my conference with Verity. Besides, I thought you would have known it was me. It's not like we haven't done something like this before. Oh, I don't get why you're so angry. At least I was proactive. What do you mean by that? Whenever Mum brought up Lisa, all you did was change the subject to the wedding. Speaking of weddings, I need to help Mum get ready for her party tonight. How are you so calm about this? Because now I've sorted it, we can focus all our energy on having a good time at the wedding. Well, we all know good things don't happen at Devereux weddings. Well, this time they will. That postcard has sorted this situation out permanently. Start. Shouldn't you be in work? Don't know when the last time you went in was. The new rotor's got everyone up the wall. I know, couldn't you have found something better for Sienna to clean? Rather than the men's toilets? I need to make sure she fails. Come on, Steve, she's not that bad. What would me and her talk about on our breaks? Exactly. I had what a dish about the latest scandal on The Real Housewives while she's rabbiting on about the opera. Or worse, politics. <laughs> Do you know what? I think you should give her a chance. Because you, more than anyone, know how important they are. I will never understand why men find it so hard to point it straight. But that said, those toilets have never been cleaner. I'll be the judge of that. Have you told him yet that you don't work at the fire station anymore? No. Leela? Sienna, I haven't had the chance to talk to him properly. Well, he's going to find out sooner or later. Well? Floor streaky. And you forgot to restart the paper towel machine. Any pluses? Actually, those are your rhinos. Never seen them so sparkling. So, yes, I'm going to give you a trial. Really? Wh whatever happens, thank you for giving me a chance. <laughs> I've known for a while, actually. Hell. When Maxine found those accounts, something just didn't sit right with me. So I started to do a bit of digging and then... When I asked Timmy, he sang like a bird. Well, he's not singing anymore. Why didn't you say anything? Why would I? It's your business, not mine. Anyway, it was keeping me in the manner to which I'd become accustomed, so as far as I was concerned, it was a win-win. And why mention it now? Because I think you should set up a similar enterprise in Mexico. We'd have more money than we'd know what to do with. Hi, this is Trish. Leave me a message after the annoying little beep. Mum, whatever you do, do not go ahead with the plan, OK? Please, just call me as soon as you get this. What's the matter? You do know what Bluebird actually is, don't you? Fergus, I'm a woman of the world. 
Men have needs. And if your little operation can service those needs because Perry Lomax and the other stupid girls you're filming are unaware of what's going on, then that's their lookout. <laughs> you really are the most remarkable woman I've ever met. Oh. The biggest mistake you made was doing it too close to home. Whereas if I'm involved, I can help. You'd help me? Of course. What else am I going to do? <laughs> After Blackpool, I realized it was time for me to hang up those dancing shoes for good. I also know that you were behind the Maxine trafficking business. You do? Yeah. Can't say it didn't sting, you trying to sell my daughter, but then I thought, well, if it makes us some money, then that's probably the only good thing that useless lump has ever done. So I'm right, aren't I? You are the brains behind Bluebird, not Warren. Yeah. I just want you to be honest, Fergus, so that we can move on. I just need you to do something for me first. Yeah, anything. Take off that wire you're wearing before I tear it off you myself. Martine. I'm really sorry about earlier. What did you want to tell me? Oh, um, Felix and I are getting married on Thursday. Look, I know that you and him were a thing once, but I hope that you can be happy for me. Oh, whatever. Me and Phoenix was ages ago, and I am really happy for you. Well, we're having a pre-wedding do tonight. I'd love you to come to the ceremony. Oh, with Nate, obviously. What's the matter? Got nothing. Oh, dear, well, nothing means everything. What's wrong, sweetheart? Uh, Okie <laughs> dokie. Look, I really don't want to talk about it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to pry. You know what? No, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just me and Nate, we split up. Oh, Christ, I'm so sorry. What happened? Leave me waiting. You always have to go that little bit too far, don't you, Trish? If you hadn't thrown in those bits about Maxine, giving up dancing, I might have just bought it. Please just let me explain. No. no. It's bad enough that you've done it. Don't need any excuses. But Warren made me do it. First of all, Warren is irrelevant. He'll be dead by now. As much as it pains me to say this, you'll also be joining it. You 
ici. Get back here. I know why you're angry. Of course I'm angry! I've just been betrayed by the woman I love. Well, we can get through this. <laughs> no, we can't. What's done is done. And now you're gonna have to pay for it. Come on, Fergus. I know you. I love you. You're not a killer. <laughs> so I. You can't imagine the amount of people I've put in the morgue. I just never thought you'd be one of them. I love you, Peach. No! No! Let me stop! <laughs> but isn't the court jester? Why don't you tell your useless lump of a daughter to get the hell out of here? I'm not going anywhere. Fine. I hope you're not squeamish, then. <laughs>